Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to share with you how to make these little mini books. And here are just some samples of some that I made. Um, so this one is using the Victorian Parlor Collection. And all these books are binded with Baker's Twine. And you can see I added doily and some of the design paper and paper bag and shipping tags. So the pages, you can use any of your dies, you can use any bags, envelopes, um, tags. So it's really um, endless what you can put in these little mini books. And then it closes with Velcro. Um, here's another sample. I used this large chipboard piece that was part of this collection from Crate Paper. And it just opens up like so. And you can use any of your um, corner punches to punch the corners to give it a different shape. You can use your edge dies. Um, it's just really endless what you could put in these cute little books. This one is from that Webster's Pages collection that I got from the warehouse sale. And they're just really um, cute little books. Um, this one I did, so you have an idea what it looks like with um, pictures inside. I'm still working on it. I just have a couple more um, sentiments I want to put. But this is of our day at San Francisco this past Sunday. So you can see how I was able to fit an entire day of pictures into this little book. And I went from the time that we got there to the time we left. And I kept some of the um, packaging from the places we went. So this is the packaging from the chopsticks. And I used my die cuts to add accents to the pictures. And it's just um, really fun. Here's another die. This is a fan die. So it makes a, a really cute little um, book. And here I use one of my envelopes to put my um, receipts in. And so I tuck that in there. And it's just a really cute keepsake book. So I'm going to show you how to make this. And I like that it has a closure. So when you you know add your little embellishments and it gets kind of a little too thick, it, it cl closes so it's not going to go anywhere, which is really nice. Okay, so um, I went ahead and pre-cut some of the papers here. And here I used um, Graphic 45's A Lady's Diary collection. It's really pretty. So this is a 6x12 design paper that I scored at 5 and 10 inches. And then you have your 2 inch flap. Again, you can use any of your corner punches to punch the corner, or like here, I just add some lace trim to put some accent to it. So there's lots of things that you can add to decorate, okay? And then I went ahead and add my, what pages I wanted in my book. So I wanted a shipping tag, and keep in mind, everything is gonna be folded in half. So this is just a really large shipping tag that you can get at your office supply store. Here I have a six inch doily. Um, I got this at my local Walmart in the wedding section. And here's a paper bag, a celebrated paper bag from Michaels. And then just some design paper that I cut in half. Keep in mind that when you're making your inside pages that they are smaller than the actual cover book. Okay, so I just cut them in random sizes. And again, just fold them in half. You can again take your um, punch here, so I'm going to add a little ticket punch to the edge of this design paper to give it just a little different look. Okay, so you got you know a little different cute page there. And then what I want to do next is I want to assemble it how I want my book to look. So um, I'm just going to take all my pieces here, and then I'm going to take my cover and just kind of put it together. So let's see here, I'll take my doily. I always like my doily to be in the front. So I'll put that in the front. And then I'll add my paper bag. And I think I'll add this page next. And then I'll put my shipping tag. I think I'll put that on the top. And so you can, you know, stagger it. You could put some on the top, you could put some in the middle or on the bottom. And then I'll put this one in the middle. And then what I do next is I just close the book. Um, I think I'm going to have to cut this 
page a little bit shorter. Just give me one second. I just cut this just about a quarter inch shorter. Okay, that's okay now. Yeah, it's a little better. Okay, so when you close it, it looks like that. And then I just like to look at it and see if it's okay. Um, see, and this is a good thing about this because you can switch it before you bind it. I think I'll put this up here in the front. Add a little more color. Okay, I think that looks a little bit better. And in the bag. And I'll put the tag in the middle. Just switch this up. Actually, you know what? Let me put the paper bag in here. See, this is why I don't bind it. I like to just play around with it until I get it the way I like. Look at it again. See, I like the way it looks. Well, it looks a little bit better. Because once you bind it, it's bind it. So just kind of play around with it. Okay, I think that's good. I like it like that. Okay. So now that you got that, you want to make a template. And here I made a template. So this is um, six by six white cardstock. I like to use white, so it's easier for me to uh, use it as my guide with design paper. And then I pre-punched the holes in the center. So I basically took the six by six and folded it in half. And then I marked the um, center with at one inch, three inch, and five inches. And I used my Tim Holtz pick. Um, it's this tool right here to punch my holes, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is take my pages, so I'm gonna start with my cover, and I'm gonna put these to the side, keep it in, you know, in order. And I'm gonna place this in the center. And because it's six by six, oh, well, at least it's six inches in height, it's the same measurement, so it's easy to just put it on top of one another. And then I'm going to take my chipboard. I just use a chipboard to poke my holes on. And then I'm just going to punch my holes. So it's that quick and easy. And having this template makes it so much easy to create your pages. Okay, so I'm going to put that to the side. I'm going to take my next page. And as you can see, the doily has these holes on the um, ends. So I'm just going to punch a hole in the center. And I'm just going to reference off the pages when I'm running it through the end holes, okay? And then I'm going to take this page, and I believe I wanted this one in the center. And this is why, again, I use white cardstock because I use it as my guide. And I could see, I just, again, I just eyeball it. I don't make it precise. And that looks good. And then I'm just going to punch my holes. Um, take my paper bag. I'll have that in the middle too. Let's see here. And then I think I have my ticket on the bottom, so I'll put that towards the bottom. the holes there and two more to go it's gonna just line it up you can see how I'm just lining it up punch the holes here and then this one I'm gonna have um, in the middle so probably because the holes are very close to the edge, so I'm just going to punch a hole in the center. Okay? 
So now that we got our book and all the holes punched, we're going to take get our baker's twine. And I used this needle that came from this We Are Memories um, So Easy set because I like the needle, how it's rounded and it doesn't poke when you're running through the pages. And then I'm going to take uh, my baker's twine and I'm just going to add it through my needle here. And you can use embroidery floss um, also would be um, nice to use too because if you want more of a solid color versus you know the two different colors that works as well too. Just trying to get it through the needle here. It's it kind of tricky. one piece to go through. Okay, and then you just want to leave um, you know what? That didn't go through. Let's try that again. Sorry, I should have done this before the video. Because it's a little thick. Okay. Okay, that works. Okay, and then you just want to leave a little piece hanging. And I'm going to cut that because it got all messed up. Okay, so you just want a little piece hanging like so. Okay. Now you want to take um, your cover. So here I got my cover. And you're going to run the needle through the center. I like to use this little rubber thimble piece when I'm threading the needle. It just gives an extra little push to it. And I'm just going to run it through the hole here. It's kind of hard to see. The paper's kind of dark. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to take my next page. So I'm just going to kind of turn it this way towards me. You want to be careful with um, the doily because you know the doily are pretty delicate. Okay, and grab our next page. And I'm not worried about making it all straight and perfect yet because I'm going to adjust it towards the end. And then our tag was at the bottom. Got this page here. I'm in frame here. Okay, so we got that. And now we're going to run the needle through the top hole. Okay. And this didn't have, only had a hole in the middle. So let's push that to this page. When you're making your hole for the paper bag, just make sure it's just a little bit bigger because it's kind of thick. And then run it through here. And then again, I didn't punch a hole on the doily because I just, I'm just going to line it up. 
so I can kind of get an idea. I'm just matching the middle hole where this hole would go. Okay, so it looks like it'll go through here. And then the top hole there. Okay, so the middle, it should look like that. Okay, so now you got your string right here, and then you have this one. Now this is going to overlap this string right here. Okay, you can see how it's overlapping. Now we're going to um, add the needle to the last hole, which is the bottom. Make sure you have enough baker's twine. Okay, and then you're going to match the hole. And then add through the bag. Get my thing back. And then now through the tag. And almost done. And then this page here. Okay, so now the front should look like this. Okay, that's what the front should look like. Okay, now we're going to go back through the middle. And then this is when I start adjusting my pages. Okay, because this is the last time we're going to run the needle through the holes. Okay, so make sure it's all nice and tight. Okay. So now go through the middle hole. This part should be easy because now that both sides are secured, it's just easy to put through the hole. And again, I'm going to adjust it at the end. Okay, now you want the needle to come through this side. Okay, so this string is coming out, this should be in the center, and this needle should be coming out from the right side. Okay, so it should be like this. Okay, now I'm just going to take out the needle. You don't need the needle anymore. And remove that thimble. Okay, so now you can see I have some extra baker's twine and I don't like to waste it. So what I do is, and this is also when I start adjusting everything, I just pull this up here from the middle, okay? And then you can see that the baker's twine is getting smaller and smaller. And you can tell how much you want left, okay? So that's maybe a little bit shorter because you just need to tie a bow. And I like to have some string um, dangling. So that looks good. And then we're going to pull it down from the bottom front. Okay, then I'm going to pull it up from the top inside and then I'm going to pull it down 
in the front middle, okay? And make sure this doesn't get tangled. Okay? You can tell it's secured, okay? So now I like to check my pages, make sure they're all nice and snug. You can see they are. They're all nice and tight in the book, okay? So, okay, that looks good. And I usually don't like this to be too loose, so again, I just adjust it again by pulling this and then pulling this. It's the same step that I did earlier, okay? Now, you want to make sure, again, one string is coming from each side of the book. So I'm just going to get the shorter string and put it back underneath this string, like so. Okay, so it should look like this. Now, I like to add three knots because I like to secure it, only because I add embellishments and I don't want my book going anywhere. So I just add three knots. You can add two. You know, up to you. And then I'm just going to create my bow. Like so. And then I'm just going to adjust it. Maybe a little smaller here. Okay. And leave it like this. I'm going to get my scissors cut. And then you can see this is the only piece that I wasted. Okay. And then I'm just going to add my little Velcro closure. And I'm just going to take these little circle Velcros and I just kind of center it and eyeball it to the flap here. So I just kind of put in the middle. That looks good, like that. And close the flap. And then I open it again. Just push it down. And then you've got yourself your little book really cute and fun. And then let's look at it again. See the pages. It's got the doily, got your design paper, the paper bag, the shipping tag, some more design paper, and design paper. And then this is just the other side of the page. And then this one you can make a pocket, just glue the sides. This creates another page and got yourself a cute little book. So give it a try, and thanks everyone for watching. Bye.